Well, this is National Lead Poisoning Prevention Week, and it is an annual effort to raise awareness about the risk that lead can pose to children. And as we have seen with the Flint water crisis, the impact can be devastating to kids' health and to their development. Here's what parents need to know. They can be exposed at home, at school, at daycare, grandma's house. Anywhere children stay or play can pose a threat when it comes to lead poisoning. Lead paint is a major source of exposure, both inside and outside of homes built before 1978, says pediatrician Dr. Rupa Takor. Lead particles can happen from lead paint, uh, the chips from lead paint, the dust from those chips as it breaks down. If those particles are ingested uh, and it gets into the bloodstream, uh, it can cause all kinds of problems long term for that child. Children can also be exposed by drinking water running through lead pipes, faucets or fixtures. A simple blood test can detect if your child is being exposed to lead. And that test is important because in the early stages, children may not show any symptoms or they may be vague. For example, trouble sleeping, behavior problems, and feeling tired. Over time, lead poisoning can result in a decreased academic performance, lower IQ, gastrointestinal problems, and in severe cases, seizures and even death. That's why preventing lead exposure is so critical. We know that if we address the housing stock, if we um, can repaint window sills and things like that and reduce the lead exposure, wet mop more in the home, things like that, we can eliminate or at least reduce some of those exposures for kids and help improve their outcomes. And blood tests for lead exposure are available from your pediatrician or at the health department. They're recommended for babies between 12 and 24 months and for any child where there's a concern about potential exposure.